Hey, welcome to the episode. On this one, we talk about me and Kevin went on an acid trip. I also, we, uh, we got into the Noid business a little bit, a little throwback there. And is breast milk good? We're going to find out on this episode of Doped Up Comedy. Let's get right into it. Tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila, damn this shit tasty. Can you not, I made about a million off a of pibini. I feel like my life is a movie, damn it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die. Welcome to Dope Dub Comedy, the... Oh, I'm alone. Show. Oh, wow. <laughs> welcome, guys, to the uh, welcome to the show. I'm your esteemed host, Dylan. Can't feel his teeth, Negri. And we're here for another great episode. My uh, co-host, or uh, one of them at least, couldn't make it, so we're gonna play his uh, drop in honor of him. Wherever you are, Kevin, that's his number. You can call him. Go call Kevin right now. He's uh, doing something. Uh, it's single Kev season. He's different. He's a different boy. But guys, let's get into the let's get into the show. It's a TV show. This is a TV show. Let's get into the TV show. We have our guests filling in, especially a, a special a package from Kevin himself, Joshua Pally. <laughs> this is. I feel like people think this is Kevin. People on the internet are like, who's that white dude next they to me? They fucking know who I am. You could have shut your mouth, DC. You could have came in, it in that t shirt and just played Kevin, and it would have matched. It would have matched. I wow. Bet, matched. I bet people will be on the internet like, who's the Spanish guy? See, that's, that's And that voice you hear over there, that's DC, the Jamaican Jedi Williams. Well, and he's even a rapper. <laughs> yes, Naya. Natalie, did we play the intro music yes. today? I don't think you we didn't did. tell me. We didn't do, agree on a song. Wow. It's right. You know what? It's, we're all through a great song. Guys, and that's our producer, Natalie. What? Uh, I don't. Uh, oh. It's okay. No, ha -ha, no, no sorry. it's okay. We're going to roll. We're going to roll with it. it. We can play it. Uh, there's no artist provided. Oh, um, doi. Sorry. I, I, I didn't put can a I hyphen. Just, it's okay. Okay. Can I just show how it's written here? So sure. To show that Go I'm for it. Wow. You don't, insane. You don't, I don't think it's insane. It's a pretty easy request. Yeah, I'll, I... What what does that mean to you? What does this mean break to you? Break on through the doors. It's break on through the other side. Yeah. See? I see, and that voice you hear in the background, that's our new co-host, the young man himself, getting his legs all wet. Young Russian, Ukrainian, David, his insides are out of turmoil. David Klashnikov. How we doing? How we doing? How you feeling, Clash? Good, bro. I got a ticket for vaping today. What? You're addicted to oh, what? Oh, you got a ticket for... I thought you said you had, like, oh. a ticket, in, like... Yeah, no, I, I, nah. You got a ticket for vaping on the train. That's a new thing now. Why were you were you blowing it up like a pompous asshole? Bro, no, I took one hit and then three cops passed by saying I was not allowed <laughs> to smoke. And I was like, oh, this is just a vape. And they're like, still. They gave me a fucking <sighs> fucking clown. How much money? Man. Bro, 50 bucks, but I'm gonna just do the summons. I'm still smoking on 50 the train. Bucks for I'm vaping. still smoking on the train. I would never give them I, I would I would just walk away from them. That's why I'm doing the summons, bro. <laughs> I don't think you could do that. Yeah, yeah you can't for that's a vaping. Running, you can't, that's, is, that became a crime this morning. Literally this morning they sat down and was like, you know what, we're gonna give citations for this. That's not fair. Just because everyone, bro, everyone, no one's paying for the train anymore, so they gotta find other ways. And I'm the white example. Yeah. This, this is, by the way, this is exactly something D uh, uh, David would be listening to on the train, just his little rocker head and being like smoking a vape, getting all these tickets. Like, He's definitely listening to some boop 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 boop. Oh, he like, West Side. <laughs> like West Side. Thank you, Natalie. This is because Dave should be better late than never. Ukraine. Huh? Dave should be fighting on the front line in the Ukraine. He should, but he's not. He's yeah, here Dave, what, if enjoying you a, freedoms. Dave, if you had to fight for a side, which side are you going with? Yeah. Yeah, Ukraine, but I feel like I could uh, take over Russia's PR real quick. He loves quick. that. He loves that American passport. He's like, I ain't giving yeah. that shit up. You like playing both sides, David. <laughs> oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you like being a Russian Ukrainian that lives in America. I just want to make it make sense. <laughs> Us two. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, we have a great show here. We got um these are my topics. Breast milk. Is it good? Um, <laughs> I would not know. Eric Lewis, uh, NBA referee. You wouldn't do it? N I, I wouldn't know. I think I've made... Have I tasted breast milk? I don't think so. I didn't breast milk I like how you have to question it. You do some debaucherous things if you have to question it. No, well, sometimes, I don't, if you ever, like, babysitted, you, you don't have a niece or nephew yet, but, like... You sucked on their bottles, do you see? No, like, when you test Where's it, see going? if it's warm, and then it's, like, is this a oh. milk in here or a Similac, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so Similac? Oh, Who the hell is letting you feed their baby? My <laughs> that is true. That's a, that's that's scary. I wouldn't ever let DC. I got nieces and nephews. DC, man. you're like the uncle that comes in and then like I have to unteach my kids the thing that you learned them in one day. Like, you taught them in one day. Learned them. I so wouldn't I disagree with I'm that. But you know, they think I'm dope. 
They think I'm dope. <laughs> That's all that matters. So uh, wait, but then whose breast milk would it so have been? So I'll just say, brother, uh, if, you brother brother's brother's to, if you want to go to the link, uh, Josh Hart, a uh, New York Knicks player, another reason to hate the Knicks, tweeted out, Are you guys trying your, bre- your your girl's breast milk? Like, here, have y'all ever tasted... Have y'all ever tasted y'all significant other's breast milk? Question mark asking for a friend. Yeah. And then his entire team responded with like, yo, we need to trade you. Like, <laughs> you can't be on the team anymore. <laughs> has anyone ever had like... But they never had... If these guys don't have kids, how can they relate to what he's saying at all? How can... Well, how is human titty milk worse than cow milk? Um, well, it, it just sounds more disgusting to say that you... Because what everyone's like, thinking is a man sucked a, the milk out of a woman's breast. That's right. No, they could squeeze it. They got like... Psh, well, but no one's just, thinking that. That's what DC says. Like, well, what if you test it? Because they put it in a bottle. Right. And they warm it up. And then you have to... So you're saying you, you may have done that with your brother's yeah, wife's titty milk. Okay. Is that what you okay. said? Okay. Okay. That's pretty fucking metal, dude. <laughs> that's yeah. That's, that's, pretty that, fucking metal, that's something dude. that can happen. That's a, crazy, yeah, yeah. that's a crazy way to get in there. there I'm just saying. It can, it can fucking happen. Is that cheating? Um, for for who? Or if is that I, sharing? Well, it nah. depends on how close these brothers are. <laughs> <laughs> pretty close, pretty close to my brothers. Right, so yeah. then it's just keeping it in the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys know all about that. <laughs> Was that a Jew hack? <laughs> <laughs> Josh, how are you feeling these days? I feel all right. I'm recovering from the weekend. Oh, uh, no, really? Yeah, you had a crazy. You, you are. You're sweating. It was my birthday this weekend. Really? Oh, yeah. Happy yeah. belated. So weird, but also, you guys are yeah. men, so Thank happy birthday. You guys' birthday is on the same week. Thank you. Kevin's is uh, four days before mine. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. How would you when do for your Well, I needed a few days to have sex with his mother before. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do for your birthday other than have sex with Kevin's My wife kidnapped me, and she took me to Atlantic City. Nice. Okay, that's why you're dressed like this. Like, yeah. You look like a dude who just yeah. came from Atlantic City. We went to the Harrods. Does they have that, that sick weird? outdoor pool. You ever been there? Harrods? Harrods in no. Atlantic City. They have no, no, this no. huge outdoor atrium pool. Did it make you feel like your wife thinks you're a degenerate gambler? She knows I'm a degenerate. Okay. <laughs> you like she fucking married me. <laughs> you look like you've watched Fear and Loathing 200 times I in your life. I fucking wrote Fear and Loathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, Definitely it's a like documentary. <laughs> What'd you do in Atlantic City? I fucking ended up losing a bunch of money playing fucking slot machines. Mm-hmm. Did you, Slots did she allow you to buy I'm so embarrassed. And I lo- the most money I lost was on a game called Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> So, so you bought a lot of Molly. That's not a good <laughs> Nah, man. I, I got drunk. We went, we went go-kart racing. I crashed into my wife. We took a booze cruise. Nice. It was fucking... It, it was okay. dope. That sounds fun, bro. Okay. It was dope. I'm not going to lie to you. What's the most like... Uh, so how long have you, you been with your wife a while now? Is one of these the pool? What again? Is one of these the pool? Yeah, that's the Harris this pool. Yeah, you see with the big dome on top? To oh, no, right? okay. They're all the pool. Yeah, that's I will it. say, the one that you clip to the left is way different than the dome yeah, one. Yeah, no, that's outside. This is the indoor. Oh, they got two pools. Yeah. That's two pool money. No, they got good stuff, man. Okay. It was good. It's you a been, fucking money trap, though. You've been with... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obviously, it's called a money city. Yeah. yeah. That's good, though. It's not you guys fuck? Buy prostitutes? What'd you do? <laughs> Both, bro. Both? <laughs> nice, 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 no, nice, no. Nice. I'm Obviously fucking. I'm not. loyal to my wife. Bro, my wife would That's fucking good. murder Wait, me and the prostitute. Wait, you have a kid? I do have a kid. Did, was, was he breastfed? He was. Did you try her He was milk? actually solely breastfed. Did you try really? the titty milk? I never tried it. For how long was he breastfed? I never tried it. He, it's kind of crazy if I tell you. Don't he say was, five, bro. He was till, seven. He was till like three or four years old. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not terrible, but that's three, fucking, three, three's that's too long, though. Three's peak, right? I'll tell you, it's, it's long enough that he's going to remember it. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. already too He's long. Have mommy issues. You if your if your kid can close his eyes and go, oh, I remember that. I remember yeah. sucking them titties. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's Josh Hart. Yeah, Josh Hart was on the titty mill for too long. Well, my son likes basketball now, so he has a future. Yeah. I mean, oh, does he really? he's also a Jewish kid, so he he's going to love it, and then his heart's going to crush when he doesn't grow to 6'7". Right. No, he's like, yo, my kid's going to be tall, bro. His he's he's tall? a quarter Croatian, a quarter Dominican, and half Israeli. He's going to be a monster, bro. You know it goes by your height, not just like... It well, my it father was 6'3". I'm six foot. My kid could be her, her it's father. It's going the opposite direction, Josh. No, bro. With good nutrition, you, this kid's going to be a fucking... Yeah, Do you family. feed him milk? No, he's allergic to milk. Pussy. Not titty milk, though. You think it's gonna No, he's got to suck his mom's milk? tits if he wants oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is his mom How like can racked you be allergic- up crazy? No, his mom is uh, very straight edge. No, she like racked up crazy though. Um, no, uh, no, but when she an even more insane question. He goes, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Bro. No, I'm what... saying, does she have the bazongas? The, 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 the. When he was breastfeeding, they were fucking the biggest I'd ever seen them. Yeah, because we were pregnant. together for years at that point. And you were, just, you never want to get in there. Like, let me help this out. <sighs> Man, 
I don't even want to talk about that relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, well, he's like, he's like the breast milk well, was the, the old, not the only thing that went sour in that yeah. relationship. <laughs> That's a Ew, good one, bro. Right there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, I, you can use that. It's all you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank Derek, absolutely. Derek says today. Uh, Dylan was here. Derek says today he's like, yo, man, <laughs> Dylan's clips. Talk man. to the mic. They've been making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way he said it. <laughs> it pain in his voice. <laughs> no, by the way, what people give me credit like they're having an exorcism. <laughs> Ah, damn! <laughs> that shit got me. He made me. He made me. He he. Tee -hee. Ah! I was like, damn. Feels bro. uncomfortable. <laughs> Unnatural. <laughs> yeah. I will Good say stuff. this. Uh, I will say. Uh, I I knew. I had the videos that I was uh, about to post uh, recently, and so I just deleted a bunch of the old ones. I was like, don't stand up to the quality. And the new ones have been great. It's great. Uh, yeah. New Yorkers just reposted one of mine. Uh, of my the, uh, the pause one. Yeah. Yeah. People, you you sent. People oh into yeah. A actually, fit I over into that, that, bro. Holy shit! The comments are He not from it. He can't talk about. That <laughs> bro, like, so what are you I, about? So I made a I made a video of me just being silly, uh, saying, hey, yo, literally bro. just saying, "Hey, if you um, just so you know, if you say pause, you're just admitting that you had a gay thought." Was that something you came up with on this show? Possibly. I feel like we talked about it here. I honestly, I say enough sus shit out of my mouth. I need a lot of backups. He has he has <laughs> a lot of moments where I need I need he's, he is like an anti pause person because me and Kevin mm. will do it a lot. He'll be like what? because this is the thing. <laughs> he's pause phobic. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so many even commented this. They're like, I'll be walking down the street and I'll see a um, a six seven dude and be like, Hey yo, he's mad big. And then someone be, like, Hey yo, pause. It's like, bro, you're the one who's thinking about the dick in yeah, that I scenario. Did. I never looked at the dude. and Was like, Hey, friendo, yeah. look at his dick up. Like, you know, that's not happening. I think it's funny. I think it's. I yeah. like pause. I have nothing against it. I think right. all the AO pause is funny. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized where I say enough sus shit that one day I had. A, I needed a backup where I think you, Kevin, someone was like, AO pause. I was like, nah, bro, you had that gay thought, not me. Mm -hmm. And um, people on the internet, so they hate it. I mean, they, they either hate it or love it. And uh, if you could pull it up and we could go through some of the comments. Some, discussing it. <laughs> someone goes, hey, bro, why is uh, Patrick from Wisconsin? Speaking about New York, uh, New York, uh, New York, New Yorkisms or whatever. Yeah. People are mad. They're like, yo, you're not from Harlem. You don't understand. People mm -hmm. are claiming homophobia for Harlem right now in my mm -hmm. comments mm -hmm. in the funniest way possible. You should just double down. Like, I, I am from Harlem. Yeah. You should, you should go to Harlem and do the next video like this. You like, should move <laughs> to Harlem. Bro, that would be you sick. should move to Harlem, dude. <laughs> yeah, Hot take. If you're, if you're from Harlem... You're, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm live in Harlem, home of the pause. Ayo, no homo. <laughs> and we're you know what I mean? Just talk to people on the street about it. People will hate. Why you. do you feel so ingrained of pause in your culture? Yeah, the comments are gonna be like, "Yo, how nobody robbed that nigga?" Do we, <laughs> do we have the? Do we have the post? Yeah, he has to sign in. Oh, yeah, to his Instagram. It's okay. Um, but yeah, no, no it's a, it's a pretty. So what? They're, they're beefing with you because you're not a local. I, I'm not a local. I'm pointing out their culture. I'm making them believe that they're gay. And if you watch the video, <laughs> and that's making them feel uncomfortable. It's a hateable person with an opinion too. Mm. <laughs> in the video, like the the turtleneck, the way he's doing it. By like, the way, I hope you like know. A, and what I'm oh, I, I think I might have seen. <laughs> you did something with someone else with that. Yeah. Oh, ready, ready. Um, First comment. <clears throat> hot, take. hot take. Verify. You're not from. Har <laughs> Anyone can pay for it now. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> hot take. You're not from Harlem, so why are you giving this take? Sit down, Sit down Brett. Brett. <laughs> you look we're like gonna, a Brett. We can go. Through Damn, all the bro. names I got called here. Yeah, more a slur. Uh, second one. More justification trying to change up NYC culture. By the way, claiming homophobia for NYC culture is very funny. It, it, well, we kind of started that. You can no always tell who wasn't outside growing, growing up. up. Ooh, you ain't climbing no trees, nigga. <laughs> it's hard up, to up. climb a palm tree. Someone said pause in that turtleneck. That's like, a good one. That's a good one. Solid. Mm -hmm. uh, did he just pause himself saying, ha this is what I'm saying. Uh, did he just pause himself saying a, hot take? Because that, that for sure a needs a pause. A People, take. so the, the name of the series is Hot pause, Take. Bro. People's brains are yeah. so ingrained with gay. gay. That's they gay. thought about it in like <laughs> taking fucking cum. Yeah. Mm. Like that's, you're gay, bro. Mm. You I took it there. Take. Don't show me the Scott gifts. Scott from Wisconsin trying to educate. Shout out New, New Yorkers, Yorkers for getting the joke though. Why is Scott from, yeah, why is Scott from Wisconsin Wait, trying to educate New Yorkers? Damn, you got the camera on side eye, bro. Keep scrolling. What's this one? People say pause. Yeah, pause. pause. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, stay out of black people affairs. Oh, <laughs> why are we claiming a word? Right no, that's... no, that's what you need right there. Uh, thanks for this. I don't know what that means. You too, man. Oh, uh, big fat. Hello. Thanks for this, white man. Oh, is that what it is? Whitey. Oh, thanks for this, white man. 
<laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, no, you YT is white now. Yeah, By the yeah, way, I hope you know. I, I'm so narcissistic. I thought that was a comment. I was like, oh, they want it on YouTube. <laughs> oh shit, they want the full version. By the way, someone commented yeah. the Tim and Eric gift. Yeah. I'm happy they I got the, the influence. No, you probably said some sus shit. So we pause just in case. We pause, it's funny. By the way, my you favorite thing pause. is people just commenting pause. Big pause. <laughs> <laughs> I want to name my daughter if pause. <laughs> by the way. Wait, wait, click on Jay Garcia. That person who said that I want to say, I want to name my daughter pause. Hold up. Hold up. This dude. Oh, now he got to pause in the yeah. picture, bro. Yeah. That's so funny. Facts. I was like, yo, I DM'd him personally. I was like, yo, your comment made me laugh so much. I was like, you should come do a hot take. And he was like, pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really didn't invite him. But as I was saying that, I was like, yo, pause. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Your brain thought gay things, so you say pause. You're pausing yourself. If you say mm -hmm. pause, you're pausing. You're trying to stop your own ho your own homo thoughts. But a pause isn't a stop. It's a temporary stop. Yeah. So Ooh. it's like stop, think about it, go home, jerk off about go it, go home, mm -hmm. and and then that is true. He's like, yeah. yo, pause, celebrate Pride Month, get away from me, and then do what you want in private. Okay, mm. 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 that's how you use pause, though. That's how we just be out here. We're just trying to stop but DC, the But DC, as the, you're, you're as, stop, as the African... Yeah, true. DC, as the African-American from Harlem. Mm -hmm. Not from Harlem, but okay. Oh, yeah, Jamaica, Queens. Born, okay. Where? Cool. Jamaica, born in Jamaica, Queens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but who now lives in Harlem. Uh, okay, live in the Bronx. You're not from Jamaica. <laughs> on top Queens. of Harlem. Yeah, I was born in I was born in Jamaica. You Queens, lived Southside. in Harlem at one point. And I lived in the North Side. Yeah, yes I did. Or I lived no? in Harlem for five years. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you claim pause for the black culture? I've been saying pause since I was like seven. Really? Yeah. I was a grip on dips. DC at, may have came head. up with pause. Nah. <laughs> I've been saying pause for a very long time. That's what it, that, by the way, pause is what both of his teeth did when they were coming close. <laughs> oh, shit. Wretch for that joke. I haven't heard a good gap joke since like high school, though. So maybe no, no way. What's, the, what's right. the worst gap joke you heard about your teeth? The worst? The best? The best, I, would I guess. Say yeah. The best one time someone said a DC floss with a cable cord or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, That was just back of the school. You do the you floss with one shoelace. Yeah, I don't floss. No, well, yeah, I don't <laughs> floss. <laughs> yeah, I, there, there were some good ones growing up, especially from your family. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, when you have but, brothers like that, they're always going to be. Yeah, 30 years pausing, bro, for at least. But do you do you want to claim it for the black culture? Since 1993. Been, pause, <laughs> been pausing since 1993. That should be our next piece of merch. <laughs> Pause since, since 1993. 1993. <laughs> you know what's funny now is when like a priest tries to molest a kid, the kid's going to be like, pause. <laughs> yo, you... <laughs> pause, dude. This guy, just, yo, you know what's funny? When no, a priest please. tries to molest a kid, <laughs> you just casually had that yeah. thought, bro? Pause. You just pause. casually had that thought? <laughs> bro. This, yo, someone. I was with. Um, I was at the comedy shop. Oh, when I saw you for your, your spot, I was trying yeah. to steal DC spot. I knew. I didn't think DC would show for his spot, Come so on. I went to the show, hoping he'd show up late, and he almost did. But <laughs> I'm talking to. Uh, I'm talking, I was talking to Chris Cheney. Mm -hmm. He's talking about this pedophilia bit where he ranks the top ten pedos or something like that. Mm -hmm. And bro, he said something out loud where he's like, "Bro, pedophilia is funny, but like in the right context." And I watched a black couple at the bar just go. White people <laughs> I just uh, have like that feel yeah, of like yeah. oh my god, I had to he scream. You know when the music like cuts down too low, it's like it's like the perfect the timing. Awkward, loud oh, convo. I had to listen to this dumbass just the just the pedophilia is not that bad. Echo off the walls, the and I was like, part, it's the wrong part for the music to cut out. I was too. like, man, that's a, that's a whisper yeah, thought. Yeah, what are yeah. you doing? Yeah. That's a whisper thought. That's more of a break that joke down in private. <laughs> that's yeah. more about like text me about it. Yeah. yeah. Pause also. Pause. Listen, this is not going to be the pause episode. <laughs> we're not homophobic on this show. No, we're, but pause isn't to be homophobic. Pause is to let you know I'm not thinking anything or doing anything gay. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and in New York, gay people say pause, no homo. But you, right? by the way, that's you, that's you saying pause for like 10 years and being like, I'm still thinking gay thoughts. Pause, no homo. What's yeah. next? Pause, no homo. I swear I'm not gay. But I think it comes from jail culture. There's a paranoia when dudes get out, for real. Because then you go to jail and you got a boyfriend, and every time you clap his cheeks, you're like, pause, real, uh, right after, after you come. And then I think it, it kind of got immersed. That's why Derek and Gio are such close friends. I always oh, wonder why they're well. like inseparable. Yeah, because they understand jail culture, probably, and they've experienced it. Oh, no, I was going to say they fuck each other. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. okay. All, right. All right. What do you think? What do you think was the top? They're both going to hate me whatever I answer. <laughs> but I think Derek. Derek? I think Derek. He has age. He has age seniority. Yeah. He does? Yeah, okay. he has seniority. Derek seems like the type of be like, come here, pop. Let me teach you okay. a little Okay, yeah. Gio is kind of like the young buck. Settle down here, you I feel like that's the okay. obvious okay. answer, and that's why I would say the opposite. Yo, you, you, you like, like Gio is on top? Gio? Yeah, I think so. 
I think Damn. Derek. I think Derek pulled him into the cell, and Geo <laughs> thought he was gonna be the bottom, and then they switched. He was like, actually, I'm the submissive. Yeah. <laughs> There you Damn, go. This is a really weird. Man, can we get back to something wholesome yeah. like sucking on <laughs> breast milk and shit, bro? <laughs> it's a family show. No, it's a family. It's a, it, I'm sure it's for families. You can, you can watch the show with your family. Yeah, Our family probably family. don't watch it. I love that show. We'll play this what? in Target. It's for family. What are you talking about? Okay. Um, I know we have, uh, yo, we have young David Clash here today, and David always brings topics now. And David's topics in. are honestly pretty fire. So, David, want, well, you want to do the whales topic? I was going to start with the Eric Lewis burner account. Let's do, let's do Eric Lewis. Let's go right through it. All right. So apparently Eric Lewis got a sus-ass Twitter account that was low-key, and he just used it to defend himself the entire time. So Eric Lewis, if you don't know, is an NBA referee who's uh, very often shit on on like uh, online Twitter. If you saw the meme of like a, the NBA uh, ref at, reacting to like Jimmy, Jimmy Butler making a basket, that was him. Uh, go on. So, yeah, he just apparently he named the entire Twitter after his wife's like maiden name and just more or less been running, just defending himself off this, this shit. This is the problem with like Kevin Durant and old people doing burner accounts is they're like they try to get clever with the name. They're like, I'm going to be like, like the, yeah. don't name it your wife. No, nah, like, definitely name it like, uh, like LeBron's numbers. left foot. Or something. Sure. Well, everyone thinks that no, no one's gonna trace your history down and figure out that you're connected to the name. Yeah, no, but, no you, one is. You have the Twitter feed. Yeah, it's yeah right here. Dog, it's obvious it's him. It is. Wait Can here. Zoom I'll zoom out. Look how big this fucking thing Dude, is, bro. Every single one of, about this is about like him crazy. defending. Every, oh, we gotta zoom in. I can't see shit. Bro, he's been doing this since 2015. He's like, he's like, so you watched every F referee like responding to people. He's like, literally every time someone talks shit about a referee, he's responding. He's like, oh. Let's see. Ah, oh, it sucks. There we go. Looks at someone. So like, right. So this is him just replying to everyone shitting on Eric Lewis. So he definitely searches his name to Twitter, and just d defends himself all day. By the way, I, I like to point out, doesn't have a single fucking like. Uh. Nah, <laughs> this man has been yelling to the wind. You got some retweets though. Yeah, but he's been doing this since 2015, mind you. Think about That's that. Crazy. Oh wow! Oh, I thought this was recent. He's oh. been doing this for eight allowed, years. Do you think he could keep playing in the? Do you think he could keep refing in the NBA? They just suspended him for the finals. Dylan, what burner account do you use to defend yourself on? <laughs> <laughs> doped up comedy. <laughs> yeah, I just I just go on doped up comedy and be like, hey, bro, this video is actually funny. You guys don't even understand the. This pause. dude's great. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't I know love Dylan his turtleneck. <laughs> my favorite thing is to go on doped up podcast account and comment on my things and call myself dad. <laughs> that is weird. Why? It's really weird. I don't know. It's my baby. You got like it's some, my son. Like, this account. This is my son. You have like a dad fetish though. What? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck came out of your what? mouth? Pause. <laughs> exactly. Dylan, you see why you pause? Dylan's father was in his life. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like he wants him inside him though. I mean, get off my dick. I mean, that's just too early in the pod for that too. He doesn't watch the pod though. good. No, if this is gonna be the the uncomfortable episode. Let's just watch something genuinely cringy. Uh, can we go to the Titanic on DVD? Uh, my favorite thing is I go on Facebook and I find weird people who are trying to post videos. People always do it to me. Mm -hmm. But I found this one dude who is his life's destiny is to get Titanic on every single Titanic on VHS or DVD. He just wants to own every single one. And bro, there's, something to that. there's like some videos have like 30 views. Some videos have like a couple thousand, but it's an unhinged person okay. you mean every video off youtube no no no. this is on facebook so look this has 10 likes one comment play it here's, here's my, my collection of titanic on dvd and it belongs in the trash <laughs> yeah. that's because titanic is best on vhs i don't believe the dvd comes with film cells but the vhs does i don't think the dvd comes with the look at the doll look at the doll on vhs coupon like the vhs does Pretty sure stores in the this change is voice only online. DVD like the VHS. I know what you're thinking, but DVD has special features. Well, they got that on VHS too. And that's just a few reasons why <laughs> Titanic is best on VHS. Who are you? Here's my collection. All right. Man, that guy's as likable as you, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. I was going to say, this is definitely how people feel, feel watching my videos sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that was more annoying, though. All right, dude, you know the Noid from Domino's? Yeah, he, he reminds me of like that. He reminds me of the dude that would go like, like he'd show up to like a like a, a Domino's, and be like, I got, I got to shoot the place that Noe told me to. I got a what? Like, the, you, ever, you ever seen that story? Like, um, the, is it? I'm saying that right? The Noid from Domino's. Yeah, they avoid the Noid. 
Yeah, you remember? I made a guy go shoot up the place. Oh, Did wow. it really? You didn't know this? No, I don't know. The Noid no longer exists as a character. I in... remember some crazy shit happened, so, right? So Domino's were doing a, a commercial. A and promo, you, using, promo. Using a, a, a character, character called the Noid. Yes. Mm. And and like, avoid the Noid, who annoys you uh, fucking up your pizza. Yeah, see if you can find a commercial. Play it. Avoid the Noid. The Noid hates hot quality pizza. This is See? Dylan at the stand. <laughs> you hot pizza. At least I'm at the stand. Just coming on the crowd. Right? Call Domino's Pizza and avoid the noise. I didn't mean that, Josh. Hello. It's okay. I love you, buddy. We keep the cold out and all this quality in. So when you. By the way, when. Pizza- when uh, well, you can keep playing, it's fine. So that's that. It's yeah. fine. Uh, when companies do that, they create their own character. It's so they can keep as much money. Like they don't have to like. And that, and that gets popular, like the, um, no like the Coca-Cola polar bear. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, we can put Tony that on the merch. Tiger. Yeah. Exactly. Like you know, obviously yeah. more money. But that commercial. I don't know if it was that exact commercial, but someone. I'm like that Titanic dude. Someone saw that commercial and thought the Noid was talking to them. And went to a is it a Domino's or a Pizza Hut? Can you find the story? I was just gonna say. And he like, uh, and he went and shot it up. Mm. The Pizza Hut. Uh, I think it was either Pizza Hut or Domino's. But he was like, I don't know what his reasoning is. But I think it was like he's banging pizza. on Pizza Hut. That's what he's doing. I hope dude. nobody takes you like that with Gas Digital, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be I'd be lucky. Noid. On January thirtieth. <laughs> Kenneth Lamore Noid. I, mean, I love these people. Oh, oh, oh. I love these people that think. His last name was Noid. Oh, And he was sh- mentally ill. Oh, so when he saw no. Avoid the Noid, he was like, dude, <gasps> they're making fun my of life. me. You've ruined my life. Yes. So armed with a, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. a, 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 so armed with a .30, I don't know how to say guns. Uh, Mac, I don't know. Guns. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know I don't gun talk. Guns. <laughs> I'm Red State all the way, but I don't know guns. I just shoot them. Uh, Magnum Noid then held two employees hostage for over five hours after ranting to the employees that the, the owner of Domino's, Tom, was fraudulent. Tom, Tom of Gas owns Domino's. That makes sense for all his money. Was fraudulent and had stolen his name. And he for, and he forced them to call Domino's headquarters and demand a hundred thousand dollars. And while limousine as a getaway transportation for him. Well, after limo. Off, after offering the exchange, a hostage for a copy of American post, what postmodern, postmodern author yeah. Robert Anton Wilson, 1985 novel, The Widow's Son. He asked for a book. Am I reading? He asked for a yeah. book. Fucking nerd. Noid then became hungry and forced the captive employees to make him two pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so funny. It's funny to be like, y'all making fun of me. I- I'm getting hungry though. <laughs> by the way, uh, by the way, that was the first pizza Domino's ever cooked that actually was under 30 minutes. It's <laughs> at gunpoint. Just like, yo, dude. We... <sighs> now I know why it's so why good you, though. Why did you put a like a African American in- inflection on the uh, accent? Because his middle name was Lamar. No, actually, I don't think I did. Do that? I feel like people think he does that. He does that. Yeah. Well, I, he did it, I thought he that. did it specifically for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually, I think Noid is a super white dude. Noid lives matter. Noid. How did it end? Can you guys read, David? Read this. I'm so read sick of this. fucking reading um, He <laughs> was charged with kidnapping, aggravated assault, extortion, and possession of a firearm. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity. <sighs> that means, and he that means, spent time way, in a mental... In- he di- he mean, killed wait, himself. Wait, wait. He spent time in a mental institution, died via suicide on February 25th. Damn, dude. Even he, had, even he had to avoid the Two noise. Days after my birthday. <laughs> even he had to dip. That sucks. That and, is wild. Uh, that was incident say, was... Um, w- rest in peace to a real world. Oh, yeah. So, I, so yeah. when that happened, Domino's was like, we can never use this character again. Yeah, no. Because, you know, there's too much bad fucking press with it. I don't like these that think <clears throat> that things are talking to them. <laughs> it's called schizophrenia. No, no. Most of those know. people, nobody talks to them. Hot take. I don't like schizophrenia. Exactly. So why the fuck would this person be talking yeah, to you? Exactly, no, nobody bro. talks to you, but this person on TV sending you a message, bro. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with people, bro? He definitely took it personally because he was like, avoid the noise. He's like, the people do do that. Yeah. People and, do do that. He got triggered. He probably went to like CVS or something and people were just like, he was like talking to himself and people were trying to avoid him. He's like, it's like, oh, that's because of the commercial. It's just yeah. the commercial. It's like if you talk about a stock, like if a celebrity mentions a stalker's name publicly that was stalking them, yeah. don't do that because you might trigger them and they might think it's a sign yeah. to come back yeah. or whatever. You see, the problem with the world right now, back then it wasn't as bad. Back then they were like, all right, fuck it. We just won't do this shit anymore. Now, people act crazy. We accommodate them. Yeah. We, yeah. Adjust, yes. we adjust our reality we gotta be crazy. to make things better yes. for people who are fucking completely nuts. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing you could do to make the world better. 
more compatible for someone who's yeah. fucking nuts. You know what everyone is doing? Everyone is gaslighting themselves for yeah. people. A thousand percent. A hundred million just, percent. You just gotta gaslight yourself. Whatever someone says. No, that's fucking yeah. bullshit, bro. It's weird. This, it's is, this, is, this seems like a shroom conversation. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if, if the world is shrooms, like everyone needs to just relax. People do need to do uh, shrooms and things, bro. People they need do. to break they down do. and people need to see what they look like. And what, people need to see people's spirit and energy and you can only do it on shrooms, really. A hundred million percent. DC yeah. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> the truth though, bro. This is DC spirit. You can look at someone, and you're like, oh, this person feels evil. Right. Like when I'm on shrooms, like right. you're on the train and shrooms, you look at right. someone and just like, oh. if you do them enough, you can feel it even when you're not on them anymore, though. Really? Yeah. Eventually, you become psychotic, like myself. Yeah. <laughs> Stop before we get into the rest of this episode. You need to go support our sponsor, the amazing Zia Farms. Guys, go to Z E F H E M P. I said that weird. Z E F. H E M P. You're gonna go there and you're gonna get yourself some uh, Delta A and some Zia Farms topicals to make your body feel all good. If your woman can't come, you wanna go to Z E F H E M P and go get yourself some topicals that are provided by our sponsor. Guys, now let's uh, 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 get back into the episode. Dude, I was doing it. At one point, I was doing streams like every week, dude, a couple times a week, like this past couple months. And I, it felt like my mind was starting to slide. I, no, no, it's not an intervention, but you always feel like your mind is sliding. Like it's about to like they call you. You, you felt you were on the like on the brink. Yeah, like I feel like my mind's about to flip over if I kept really? doing it. No, like, you better break on like through that. to the other side. I don't know. If it was no, a break he felt like he was in a break. His I, fucking yeah, brain. Oh. I thought my boss was oh. gonna break my brain or yeah, something. No. I started to. Feel I did. Uh, me, Kevin, and uh, Carolyn did brain. acid after lunch like a week ago, and uh, we just went to lunch. And I was like, you know what? I've asked like four days ago. He wrote me. He yeah, in a deep panic. You ever look at people and be like, I hate everyone. That's also you when you're sober. Well, first he said to me, he's like. He's like, Josh, I took acid for the first time, and I feel like I know how you feel now. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? He's like, I looked at everyone like everyone's well, fucking... You know, Kevin, we had a funny-ass story, bro. So if you don't know, my rooftop is dope as shit, but there's an old lady that lives on the floor below. Oh, he so told she me likes, about her. So she likes to come killing and just vibes. Like, killing vibes. <laughs> we were filming a sketch one day, and I kind of just snapped on her. I was like, listen, every time I come up here, you come. Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eating a butter goddamn cereal. <laughs> Eating a butter goddamn cereal. Cereal. So I was like, bro, every time I'm on the roof, you come to the roof. I go, yeah. I pay rent here. I'm allowed to be on the roof. Yeah. Please stop every time I'm here. If you see me, say hello. Go on your fucking yeah. merry way. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to song and dance stop every time. My, you yeah. told her that? Uh, yeah, I went off. How old is this lady? <laughs> um, 80. You're a fucking gentleman, bro. Yeah. <laughs> come on. You know how people in New York are. I've been living in this building for 40 years. Well, it's you know, my building. Well, you, you know also know I mean? the, the time Was that she... Was she harassing you, though? Bro, every time I go up to the relax... Or like you know when fun, someone's watching you, though. It, bro, when someone's on extra. your ass. It's, it, it, it's extra. It's like. extra. Yeah. And, and, by the way, Tristan, everyone was like, yo, dude, chill. I was like, nah, dude. She, I was literally a psycho. I was like, she does this every time. She, she does this shit every time. And Everyone's I'm screaming. Like, I'm not screaming, but like... I was dealing beefing with 80-year-old women, bro. Anybody could get it. <laughs> Anybody could get it. And um, and uh, actually, I got another story about me. I got two. So this one we kept. So again, we did acid. So um, we get back to the apartment. We're listening to music. We're chilling, and we're listening to the doors. So I wanted to break on, break on through on, on opening the uh, the show. And I go, you want to go to the rooftop? He goes, bro. But if that old lady comes out, I go, bro, she's not gonna come out. We're good. Like I, let's just go up there and hang out. It's the middle of the day. We're allowed to be up there. He goes, all right, bro, let's go. We go up there. We're chilling. We're just laughing and playing music on my phone. And, bro, Kevin's sitting on this chair that, like, one of those, like, gravity outside chairs that's kind of, like, almost like a trampoline. And it, like, like it's it, off pivot. Yeah. And it, those, it, it, they go like that. Yeah, like, and if you put like, your, your feet all the way up, you're, like, floating almost. Yeah, yeah. So him and Carolyn are sitting in there. I'm sitting on the ground. I'm just, like, laying back. So you and Kevin and, are playing gynecologists. Kind of. And, uh, <laughs> and, there's, and, the, and, the, and the old lady comes through. And I can just already be like, fuck. And then she keeps going. And at one point, we're laughing. So she like she'll, she went up to Kev and was like, you know, this is a gravity chair. And starts massaging Kev's shoulders and then grabbed his pecs and like pushed him back. So he's like, the and then he's like, what the fuck? He's on acid. And then he, she just goes, relax. And he doesn't like being relax. massaged. Bro, he doesn't like being touched. Yeah, like, he yeah. didn't even want this lady even yeah. in the presence. And now she's touching him. Yeah. Kevin wasn't even hugged till he was seven. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. I, it was by you. <coughs> well, yes. Well, I finally then, appreciated him as my child. <laughs> <laughs> so she puts him back, and you see him go like this, and then she's like, no, relax. Relax. And you, Kevin starts laughing, bro. We're drinking. We're laughing. And he's like, bro, I can't, I can't relax when you're just pushing me. And she's like, no, you're good. You're good. And, bro, she's doing this whole song and dance. And she's like, oh, was it, oh, oh, you're the kid I talked to that one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, please, like, leave. And every time she would say something... At one point, Kevin, she said, said something, and Kevin goes, 
Actually, we're high. <laughs> <laughs> Says you gotta tell the truth, bro. That's the only way to get rid of people. And then she looks over and she's like a hippie. And I go, and she goes, "Oh yeah, mushrooms." I go, "No, actually, acid." I go, she goes, yeah, I go, so we're, we're like, we're like on our, in our own little vibe. She goes, oh, really? And then comes over, so like explaining the mm -hmm. first time she did acid. And I was you should have like, given her some. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, then she would have stayed. Natalie, don't you know the fucking the I know, drill? You, I know. Feed, Maybe you feed a cat outside, it comes back. I wonder what acid does to an 80-year-old. I think brain. she's lonely. Honestly, I think she no. wants hippie friends. No, she is lonely. But she also, by the way, this is the crazy part. This is what's you funny. You think she's trying to clap any of y'all cheeks? No, wait, hold on. I, I, so it gets better. Uh, She... Does this thing where she'll yell at me for being loud on the road. Oh, she comes up, she opens with, so I don't want to be like a bother. I know you guys are having fun, you guys are high, but uh, I just got that nose with cancer. So I just want to, so I don't want, I just want to hear the footsteps. She goes, you know, actually, Native Americans, when they used to walk the wetlands, oh, when they would God. go out there, oh, they would walk through and they would walk toe to heel, oh, toe God. to heel. You know why they did that? So it was quiet. And I was like, bro, we were high. And I was like, oh, this bitch sent me on all. She told a whole story to be like, to teach me how to walk on eggshells. And Kevin told me later, he goes, bro, I should have thrown off the roof. I almost, I want to throw off the roof right there. <laughs> and dude, so finally, yo, she keeps saying shit. And finally, she finally leaves. This is like way too long. Who knows? And we're sitting there and we're laughing about it. And Kev goes, bro, I... This is why I want to move to Austin. He's like, this is I deserve to have a gun in this scenario. He's like, bro, if I, if he told me that today. He's like, bro, if you're in my vicinity, he's like, if you're in my vicinity and I don't want you, you're on my property, just sh -sh -sh, boom, bam, get the fuck out my face. And I, I get it. I mean, so you can just cock there, it and they'll disappear. But we're sitting there, we're laughing, and I'm like, bro, there's no way this just happened. And I think at one point I even said, I go, the only thing that could be funnier is if another a white woman comes back. Less than two minutes later, another white woman. Another white, a different one. A uh, older, uh, not older, a younger. Oh, about to say even older. <laughs> <laughs> she was a hundred and eight. <laughs> she was a jarvash. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no, uh, younger, like oh, forties, fifties, mm -hmm. and. And in the words of Kev, where he said that, he goes, nah, she didn't bother me as much because I, I kind of want to fuck her. But <laughs> she was honestly hot. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. She came out, but she did the same thing where she, oh, the, uh, so she comes out, I'm laying. She tried connecting I'm, with you guys? No, not even. She comes out and goes, looks over like the edge of like the roof. And I could see her. I'm like, it's not, it's not what you came to do. It. It's, that's not what you came oh. to do. And she just goes, we're having a conversation purposely. So she doesn't interject. Yeah, yeah. And she goes. So you live here? <laughs> Dude, people and are I go, just... and I'm sitting there laying down, actually with my sunglasses. So I'm like, I'm in, my, I'm, in, I'm in full douche mode. So I'm like laying like this, and I have my hands like this. And I look over, I go, I don't look over, so I go, yeah. And I start talking again. She goes, what apartment? I go, I mean, what? who's asking? What apartment? And then she goes, well, I live in the building, and I live actually right below that, and I can hear you guys. I go, that's cool. It's a rooftop for uh, use, right? Like there's chairs and stuff. And she goes, yeah, but what, what, do you live here? And I go, yeah. She goes, what apartment? I go, and I tell her my apartment number. She goes, okay, I'm in this one. I go, she goes, okay. and then she just stops for a second, looks over again, and then puts her hand. I goes, I'm Cindy. I'm Cindy. And I was just like, bro, like whatever. So late. And I'm Kevin Sanchez. I'm high on ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw you off the roof, <laughs> bro. And then we got back, and then so she left. And Kevin's so high. He wanted to leave so bad. So when she gets to the stairs to go downstairs, he just follows her. So we all just now we're just like three high idiots going downstairs after this white lady kicked us off. We get to the room. We we'll sit in silence for like two minutes, and Kev goes, "All right, I'm gonna go. Y'all might see me, y'all might not, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna leave." Yeah. And then he I, he left. I closed the door. I looked at Carolyn, and we both at the same time go, "We're not gonna see him." No. Nah, <laughs> Kev's no. Kev's gone. That nigga probably walked to Jersey. That's so, probably, all I, I know is he wrote me the next day and he was yeah. like, I want to kill everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it makes sense. It makes sense. That's so annoying. People do that. That shit is so annoying to me, bro. Like that. Yeah, people whole, need to mind their own fucking they business. They can't, though. It's like they refuse to. Well, that's why they need to be thrown off a fucking roof every day. Yeah. She, I mean, the, uh, it's annoying. Because I, I also, live in this building. And what building and what part do you live in? Is, by the way. Nuts? Like, keep your, that was old. Let me just tell you. You grew up in New York City, yeah, right? Yeah. That's the thing that's changed in the last fucking 20, 30 years. When I grew you up, live here? people minded their fucking business. Yeah. Like, you would just keep to your fucking... Someone's on your roof? They're on the fucking roof. They're mm -hmm. not in my apartment. Yeah. They're not trying to fucking rape and murder my family. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm I need to keep know. keep my fucking my mouth shut and myself. <laughs> Standards in New York, yeah. dude. <laughs> Mind they, your fucking business, yeah, bro. Dude. You know, and also, dude, white people... And it's always like white women, dude, for some reason. I'll, I'll, I'll and I that. feel like for people that invaded and colonized 
a lot of the world. I'm sorry. Y'all Jason. really hate. So sorry, uh, 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 was it for Jules? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't us, bro. <laughs> but we just did the book work on it. <laughs> you All right, what do you got? 400 <laughs> Schwarzes coming off coast of Africa? I got it. That's so funny. But they have a problem with like people like invading their neighborhoods or feeling like they're invading their neighborhoods. Shut up. This country it's... is an invasion. By the way, <laughs> by the way this is the country of invasion. Yes. Like, you're, you come to a country that was invaded, that got invaded by invasions it's with in invasion. It's culture. Invasion is but America. But that's also why I that's also why I talked to that old lady sternly like that where I was like, "Oh, she's from a different time. She needs a dude to be like, "Hey, bitch. Leave." Yeah. And, then and she where's she from? Was yeah. like, where's she from? Now she's lived in that building she said for like 40 years. But she and also That's what it she, always she is. Marks, she she she's, she's See because men used to be more violent and let people know, you know? <laughs> It's always those people though. I live in the building, I own it and it needs to stay the way I like it and I mean, like they that. used to it used to be part of like the uh, culture that they would tell you like when a woman goes crazy, you slap her. Oh uh, but you know what's so cr- interesting? It, it was either that, I think before that, like in the 40s, they would, if anything was wrong, if, if your wife said anything was wrong with her, then you just put them in a mental institution. You remember those? Like, that I movie, there's a movie that about that. There was, movie there was about that. no like, those, reason for anything to be wrong because back then you could just go to the store and get heroin and cocaine. But they were doing that. They were, that's when they started taking like opioids a lot. Like, um, right. You know, um, Adderall was actually invented by this German dude that was like trying to keep his wife thin and like keep her thin and like focused. Right. So she's not like. Well, um, it's like, you know why the vibrator was uh, invented? Uh, because some so I could go to work. Up. <laughs> because because uh God the, woman this the sexologist <laughs> mm-hmm. in like the nineteen twenties or I don't know fucking how old it was. Mm-hmm. He they, they I gotta up, think about all the things I thought they, of, said pause they to came up, say. They came up with this diagnosis about why like women started to like act crazy and insane and they called it hysteria. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. they said it was because they couldn't get an orgasm. They needed can, they needed to have an orgasm. I can believe that. So they used to send their wives to a doctor and the doctor would, would give them. them a fucking orgasm. <laughs> At the fucking office, so they could go chill. home and chill the fuck chill. out. So that's <laughs> when they, the way, they invented the first <laughs> fucking like dildos and vibrators. Yeah. You know, it was like a hand crank like this. You're like, all right, oh, no, Martha. Oh, no, oh, no, it's it's not. No, it's, it's a hundred percent true, it bro. Lever on it? Co- look it up. There's a whole movie you think on this it. Doctor got his ass beat ever. <laughs> 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 his ass beat, bro. He fucking. He calmed. He calmed. Nah, he got, he, he got, calmed the resistance down. He got tips. Yeah. Pause. Tips. Oh, yeah. He was oh giving tips. God. I hate you. <laughs> Something, bro. That's really that's a real thing. So they would do that. But I could understand you have it? the frustration of never getting a sexual Is release, there... though. In the, especially in the forties, where everyone's been a dirty bad at episode. Sex. You think so? I think it's been kind of insightful. Been and did, did we find that dildo? By chance, the, the first ever dildo. I want to. Uh, There's no picture of it. The pelvic hysteria. massage. Hey, I saw a pelvic hysteria. hysteria. Female hysteria. No, it's not a picture. Of it. It's like. Familiar. Yeah, this is the the. Is uh, there a picture? Background. No. Oh. It's uh, a <laughs> hysteria Pause. to cure malady. Cure maladies. Um, oh, I thought it debuted at the Tribeca Film Festival. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? I know, I know. I thought that too. Described oh. as a manual pelvic massage. By the way, that's a dude that's Creepy. fucking your wife comes up with. He goes, no, 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 no. I'm not going to touch your pussy. But Her how pelvic. Many, yeah, it's how all these women got obsessed with going to the doctor? I didn't cheat on you. Though. I gave a woman a pelvic massage. Women are obsessed with going to the doctor, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But think about this time. Like, your wife going to the doctor five times a week. Motherfucker, like, you're like what's going on, bro? I'm sick, Terry. Yeah. I'm sick. <laughs> Every time you get to an argument, you go see a doctor. <laughs> like, that shit is crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure also the dudes are like... St- out drinking, mm-hmm. you know. You, back in the day, it was also like n- nine to five life. So she's at home, like, the fuck am I she's gonna do all day? Like, oh, I know. I'm gonna call the doctor. Call the doctor. It's Someone like, call nine one one. I feel like those are like the Stedford <laughs> wives type of chicks. That that effect. You, I don't know if you remember like that type of. I know. Um, I know the. Okay. Obviously. Um, yeah. I made a dude. Uh, I made a very New York, uh, scary looking dude. I forced him to apologize to me this week. Uh oh. And it was a it's such a funny interaction. I was riding back bro, on. I'm um, gonna spread that Jew guilt, bro. Bro, I, I, I'll, I'll teach you. I'll say t- sorry. <laughs> you almost broke my leg. <laughs> yeah. So this is what happened. So I'm riding my longboard, and I'm just in a vibe, bro. I'm having fun, yeah. listening to music. I'm a little drunk, so I'm just like, I'm like just chilling, I'm going down the street, just like surfing. And the light, I'm looking at it, and I could see that it turned like green for me as I'm getting towards it. And I should have slowed down to do like a double check, but I'm like, ah, now nah, we're good. Let's go through it. And dude. A bike goes, but it's quick. It just beats me. And there's one dude on a city bike has a do rag, a backpack, just the whole, just all fucking mad New York. Pause. And I'm just like, works for, works for Uber Eats for sure. No, no, he, he didn't. He okay, didn't. Okay. Uh, civilian for sure. And uh, 
and bro gets in front of me and then just stops and does like a not like not like this but like just he, stops so he's looking at me like this i'm coming from this direction he jukes he just stops in front of me so i jump off the board i kind of like try to slow myself down and end up like hitting his back tire and we just both stand there <laughs> and i just go pause and we look <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just rammed into you. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> I just rammed into your bumper. <laughs> I just rammed into your bum. Pause. Uh, so we look at each other, and I just go, and, I'm, and my made my lawn board come back to me. It's electronic, and he both the silence was killing me. And I go, and I just go, you know that was all you. And he goes, I didn't say shit. I go, yeah, you didn't. Apology would be nice. Oh shit. He said that. Bro. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he goes, he goes, I go, I go. You know, that was all you. He goes, I didn't say shit. I go, yeah, you did an apology would be nice. He goes, my bad. I go, it's all good. <laughs> I love white on white. That's Violence. all I wanted. That's I, all I wanted. That was bro. a white guy, 100%. <laughs> nah, dude, it was no, a dude, black dude. dude. No, no fuck. Shut up, Dylan. You fucking lying. <laughs> Why would I lie? Piece of shit lie? You did not tell a black guy to apologize to you. Bro. It I was, believe he it did. Might Other been, than DC, that might be the most <laughs> racist thing I did. I don't know. He might. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was a. It was a insane level of I. You. You inconvenienced me, and I. Yeah. But yeah. we were sitting there in silence, and I was. I just went. That was all you. And he just, <laughs> <laughs> that was all. And you. he just. But the way he said, I didn't say shit. Was like, I almost. I was. No, I didn't like it because it felt aggressive. I'm telling you. He goes, I didn't say shit. I was like, yeah, you did it. Yeah. Dylan demands reparations. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of the episode. Dylan demands reparations. Dylan reparations. That's funny. Um, I, I, hey, man, I will not be oppressed. Yeah, no, that's bad. Oppression is bad, dude. Jew power. Oppression is awkward, dude. I, why why way, are you hiling Hitler while I saying say, Jew power? I was going to say, I saluted. You fucking and then ironically. Natalie, to me, Natalie, you're terrible. That's dude, awful. white supremacy is ingrained in the DNA of America, huh? Well, we're not white. Me and Dylan are Jews. I know. That's, Jews, why, that's Jews. why I'm saying. You guys are not I'm white Egyptian. enough for white people. White people are insane, dude. No, white people are fucking disgusting. <laughs> They're insane, terrible. dude. They looked at Dylan and was like, not white enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is so crazy to be. I'm not accepted. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it is funny when I got accepted into um, college. I did put, I was like Middle Eastern. And yeah, so got, you could kind of get like a scholar. Yeah, yeah, some type yeah, of, yeah. And I got My there. friend's father, he's, Mor he's a Moroccan Jew. My favorite. And he wrote African on all his uh, yeah, yeah. entry, <laughs> on his entry uh, college. I, I could have put African also. Bro, they let him write in. They're like, oh, Moroccan. Yeah. Please, <laughs> come on in. Moroccan Jew. <laughs> Um, let's get into some plugs. We really no plugs quick, yet. Harrington sent me this about the vibrator thing, and I he said that the just the byline here is like perfect. One hundred <laughs> years ago, the vibrator was invented to relieve doctors, okay, Wasn't that or what women I said? whose fingers were frequently cramped from treating hysteria <laughs> in female patients. Afterwards, it became a popular household appliance to help women get off their own. Wow, get off Henry, the my fingers are off. Fingers, I getting, can't do any work you're anymore. You're a doctor getting carpet dude. tunnel from finger banging chicks. Dude, the Bro, the 40s were wild. <laughs> dude, the idea of two dudes. But a hand cranked vibrator no, has to be yeah, the yeah. funniest thing ever. That's funny. But also the passive rape. What? Like the, It's like your passive, like. Chick, women come in here just all day. You're doing a double shift. Just hey, man. Fucking... It's okay. I'm a doctor. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, a doctor. That's really... You don't think that's weird? I, I think it's more funny that... um, Like, you know, they always say, no matter what you do in life, a job's a job's a job. Like, that's... I, I love the idea of, like, the young doctors getting hired and then, like, three months later, just sitting in a room and yeah. going, like, hey, we, finger some we have another client. He goes, fuck. <laughs> a job's a job's a job. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking. I'd damn. be a colonial doctor. What's wrong with that? I, that shit is. The problem is you have to service all of them. This is what I'm trying. You know, like at, only twenty percent. Like, all right, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a, yeah. a fun afternoon. And also, the rest is like dealing with cattle. Yeah. Dude. The problem with making a girl come is, you know, when you, you know when you log <laughs> into like a video problem? game that's easy, medium, hard. Mm -hmm. You don't find out until you're in because there's that's a problem because like. I finger chicks and then like they're like I'm about to come like oh yeah. dog I'm on I'm I'm doing oh, yeah. day shift this is night. easy it's money a good night. It's a good night. and then there's times where you're, they're like you're just going you're like Are you what's what's the best subtle way you ever ask a girl like, hey you done because I've been like I feel like I was fucking I, I feel like I was in the seventh round fighting no, Harrington I'm like come on just I do this I thing once sometimes. thought I was just doing fucking give up I once thought I was doing immaculate with a girl because I was she was like coming all the time she's like I hadn't been finger bang like this since I was in high school yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. That's appropriate, though. That's, <laughs> that's like six years ago, man. This, this, is, this is insane. I do these things sometimes where if I'm not feeling something, I I, I, I make a sigh. Where, ah, 
that type of thing. <laughs> you make a sigh during so, sex. You so sigh like, that if pussy. I'm fingering like a chick, and my hands are getting exhausted. That's DC's reggae name. <laughs> sigh six, y'all. What am I gonna sigh? <laughs> I'll take <laughs> my <laughs> finger. <laughs> I'll take my finger on. Uh, and then they'll get like, what? Okay, you don't want to figure. It? I'm just like, not really. What? Like, how long do you want me to do this for? Like, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's yeah, funny. Ever, but hold on a second. I'm sorry, DC. Oh, uh, Dylan. It's okay. I, I, you never call me that again. <laughs> We're the same people. You ever do something to a chick so long and Both she's black. just, where you think like you're giving her like pleasure and she's just like, oh, I think I'm done now. Yes, I, my earlier days. When my yeah, girlfriend, yeah. when like when we first like moved in together, I was like, I was like, do you have a vibrator? She's like, yeah. I was like, I was a little bit like, why really? you need a vibrator? And then three months into the yeah, relationship, God, I was right? like, she was like, I, she's like, are you done? I was like, bitch, you got a vibrator. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> go Dylan, to the, do- Dylan's, go Dylan's the doctor. Play, you're Dylan's playing me. PS4, holding one hand with the fucking That shit vibrator. is bad, bro. That, I hate it. And especially because, and if they see you got long fingers, they're like, mm, oh my God. Mm, finger my shit. And you're just like. No, I, I, I just, I remember shit, being on ecstasy once. Right, yeah. and but, like, but dudes be thinking, oh, it's so lit. Girls will most want you to film. I'm like, nah, bro. Fingering chicks is like, it's like getting jacked off. You don't really like it. Yeah. Well, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh? Okay. I don't. You guys like getting jacked off by chicks? They never do Not it right. Really? I, you know, it's funny. No, no. Exactly. They I never teach really you trick. do it right. I will teach you all the trick. You guys are all. I like idiots. it when it touches my. These are all I idiots. Oh shit! You gotta, un- <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> nah, you gotta you, unlock. Listen, listen, listen. Comes So placebo is a real thing, right? You can placebo affect yourself. You got to change the way you think about it. You got to change your brain. When a girl's jacking you off, yeah. it's not supposed to be good. The humor is in how bad it is. Uh, I get off with the how, comedy. Dude, when they're jerking me off and it's just incorrect, yeah. I'm like, dog, I've never been jerked off like this. And that's great. Chick ever started it's jerking you feel. off? No lube to start? Just straight up just I'm, jacking your shit, bro? I will say, sometimes girls think think it's like it's a, it's a race. Like girls think your dick is this thing that you could... Do shit like this too. I really do, cause chicks will get on just. <laughs> it's like no, that's not even a stroke. You're just Don't sound yanking my skin. Bro. You guys, are, well, you guys are doing it wrong. The first thing you're supposed to do is have them vomit on your penis. All right, goodbye. And then they drink. All right, All right. So and that's that's not. the show. Right, that, that, goodbye. Yeah. Let's delete that whole scene. Let's, uh, let's oh. move on to plugs. Let's go to the plugs. Yeah, speaking of Jesus Christ, Josh. <laughs> that was Josh. awful. I know bro. you're old, but goddamn, yeah, have some class. Too much. Hey yeah. guys, I am your host. Dylan J. Negri. Go follow me on all platforms. Guys, and if you're in New York, Philadelphia area, come to the June 15th The Stand Show. We're going to be at The Stand. Me, Kevin, DC, and super special guest just announced, Ari Shafir. So Ari Shafir is going to be there. Josh Adam Myers and Jordan Jensen. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a fun show. So guys, make sure to be there. You don't want to miss it. Uh, make sure to go follow at Doped Up Comedy on all platforms. Like this podcast. Comment. Give it a five-star review, guys. Uh, people who've been enjoying this podcast, thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. Uh, it, it, it's been it's been it's been a climb and it's been really fun it's been really fun to, uh, to go through and um seriously just keep commenting keep supporting every single thing that you guys do from the bottom of my heart matter so uh seriously thank you um guys joshua powell uh thank- i almost got emotional there <laughs> you did get a little emotional thank emotional. you guys uh so Pause. what a pleasure it is to be on doped up and dying i love you guys i've been here uh Several times, uh, you we guys stole are my his buddies. Co-host. You stole my co-host mm-hmm. and ruined my career. <laughs> <laughs> and I will uh, very soonly avenge myself against you. It's all right. You have a long life to live. I have a short time to kill you. <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> please, uh, please make sure you follow uh, Doped Up and Dying. Follow me at Joshua Pallid on Instagram and Let's everywhere go. else. Love DC Williams, my other co-host. Um, DC Williams Comedy on Instagram. Everything Dylan just said. Keep liking, following, subscribing, sharing. Um, um, we don't know where it's going, but y'all coming. And um, we thank Pause. you guys for fucking listening. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. See, everything's gay if you think about it. We thank you guys for listening and if tuning in. If you're gay, in you can make things gay. As much as you can. Oh, um, and seeing Dylan scream over my plugs. Nat? <laughs> Let's throw it to the booth, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. Watch Gas Digital now on the Gas Digital exclusive YouTube channel. That's it. And then new to the group, David Clash. Tell me where to find you. Uh, you can find me at David Clash 47. That's Clash with a K. Also, new podcast we just started with my friend Ada Desky. Procrastination is out now. The first episode. Go check that out as well. It's. It, I always love when people plug podcasts on here. I'm like, if they've gotten this deep in podcasting. To go one more mm. layer is that's that's deep. That's it's like it's like there's like podcast matrix. Mm. <laughs> I, kinda, ma- I, I guess uh, in, I want everyone inception. to stop podcasting. Actually, why? So we can be the only one podcast? No, so so we can stop too. <laughs> so we can you stop can cut too. that out. You can cut that out. Why? You, uh, I DC, love this, <laughs> DC. I know. I know you go through ups and downs. What? I know. I I I know you're bipolar just like myself. 
But uh, okay. you can't you can't have don't have your Kanye West moment just yet. What you're Me, not famous enough. I'm always dude. I'm so close to having those moments, bro. <laughs> I was at work today. Jews. I was in the office. I I do I do like they're cool. Kanye likes the Jews too. <laughs> it's like well, he is a Jew. Yeah, basically, basically, like he's not. He's never <laughs> like. He's never like, man. I'm so mad that you found me and said I should be a fucking artist here. Like, <laughs> he's not. He's never said that. But um, I was gonna say, I walked out the office today. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be here. Really? Yeah, bro. I just I, 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 I've, out, I've been, bro. I've been feeling you reach that point. You also, you, by the way, DC's I, been killing it at his day job, and that's the thing with DC. This is the problem. He's actually very good at doing the job. Sometimes the issue is just like also me and you. Eventually, we hit a point where we're like. I can't only I'm care out. so much. Like I can't. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like, I'm checking out. Like I, I needed to to care that much so I can save some money and make some money. But it got to that point where I'm just like, bro, I would rather make the same money just doing comedy. Bro. Yeah. Like it's just it's not fulfilling enough. I don't I don't desire to be like for sure the greatest cold caller in the world or something like that. And I'm impressed with people who are great at it. Like, I really am. Yeah. But watching them do it is like watching them do a game they love. Right. Like watching Kobe play something. Right. And you gotta love what the fuck you exactly. Doing. Yeah. I feel like that about. No, I'm comic. a fucking great cold caller. Like, I don't want to. Do you're that. more exactly. of a exactly. DC. Exactly. Really is the Dennis Rodman in this group. He's like, guys, I'll 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 be in Vegas for four days. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'll see you uh, next week. They're just and they're just like and they look at me. They just be like, bro, you just be you be doing what you want to do. <laughs> like you do that. A That's lot, also how you know you're good at your job. And um, he's also a North Korean sympathizer. <laughs> am I? Oh, Dennis oh, Rodman. Am I? Oh yeah, he is. Oh. Is North um, Korea so bad though? Hmm? Is North Korea so bad? It ain't, it ain't worse than some parts of the city. What's up with Asians in basketball? <laughs> <laughs> like it's not even it's not Jews. This what's up with Asians in basketball? It's, I, what, 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 I what, think it's what, a what big you, gate for an Asian. What, to like be Koreans love basketball. The dictators. They're like, oh, they hate America. I hate everything about Western culture. But then it's Ron Bro, it's like all even. I think I even think it's more Chinese about black guys. culture. To be honest with you, I don't think they is have, it that. I, they don't have black people over there. That is so. true. So they get excited. But like even yeah. Chinese people, they love basketball. I Koreans think we should send basketball. some of them there. Yeah. I think they're more just blown away. No, we should send the WNBA to China. <laughs> they would have a huge fan base. They wouldn't know if they're Nobody's a dude going or not. to a communist country after what happened to what's her name, man. Oh, oh the old um, grinder, Brady, yeah. Brady grinder, yeah. The old they're grinder. not going over there. They're gonna get fucking kidnapped. She's one of the top players in WNBA, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. good. Until they start, you know, getting some retired NBA players who transition and going into it. Yo, that'll be fine. Instead of like playing ball in like Croatia. They send you like LeBron a... LeBron goes, my new legacy. Yeah, North <laughs> I'm Korea. I'm playing for the 20 years. Either way, just like this is so, He could play till he's 70 in WNBA. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> if LeBron just went 30 more that's years in shit. WNBA... You know how like, that's Floyd the, is doing all these exhibition that matches That would save the overseas? WNBA. The NBA players should do that. They should the fucking Harlem, do the it. The Globetrotters, the Gilbert Arenas, all the old guys, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas old? He's not that old. All right. Let's bring out old Smokey Spinball yeah. and a 90 year old black dude. And you're just fucking dunking on Shit women on in the WNBA. Bro. Damn. It would be, it would be, because I remember. I remember one time there was a WNBA player that was like, oh, I can bust Marcus Cousins' ass. Mm. And when asked about it, he that was the first time like he was like, Listen, I love the WNBA, but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, uh, listen, I, 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 no. It's Yo, crazy. Brittany Grinder was the one who said that about the market. Oh, it was Brittany Grinder? Yeah. Oh, what, so a, what a crazy, crazy, crazy thing to say. Women I thought it support it. it. Just, like, name someone besides Brittany Grinder. Yeah, I saw a can't. video today with uh, somebody like superimposed Mike Tyson going into uh, female uh, boxing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. A, a deep fake? Yeah, a deep fake. And then, and, but there was somebody actually asking someone, it was a serious conversation, like, well, well, do you think Mike Tyson, if he decides he wants to yeah, transition, insane. should be able to fight? Absolutely he not. Shouldn't even be, he silly. shouldn't even be allowed to fight <laughs> why, but you, why is that silly? What if Mike... Yeah. No. What if he... No. What if he discovers that he's actually a lady? No. Yeah. I, I, I think... This shit's, gold. This shit's crazy, bro. Yeah, I, I, listen... You're fucking homophobic, bro. Pause. Um, I think some women are voting against their own best interests. What? I think some women are just voting against their own best interests. Okay. Because inclusionary, like they're trying to like it's like include let them compete in females contact sports where the people punch each other in the face. Really, <laughs> that's what I, I did. This whole I'm writing this bit where I talk about I think um, there's been a rise in transitioning in the um, trans community. Uh, men are transitioning a lot more now to women because they just want to fight their ex girlfriends like legally. They want to legally beat up their ex girlfriends. So <laughs> and I really think <laughs> I really think some dudes are just transitioning just to go around beating chicks up, beating bro. Up and well, there was that one teacher who put on like giant like triple D breasts. That was a troll. It was. It was. It was, it was, was it a troll? No, I'm saying he was trolling. He was, yes. but he was doing. That's what I'm saying. He was doing it it's, to be like. Is this too far? Yeah. Like, so he was doing it for the good part. By the way, though, I will say this: as comedians, 
getting things inside of your body and going through that process for the sake of a joke and making a point. I mean, was he taking hormone it. pills? What have you taken just... inside of your body yeah, to do yeah. comedy? It was prosthetic. It was a prosthetic chest. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. go oh, inside. inside. What's, what's going inside That's of you? On you bro. I thought he. Had, I thought those. I thought those tits were real. Dylan's gonna show up to set one day. Like, yo, we gotta do prosthetics. He just spreads. He's his like, cheeks. I'm here. <laughs> Opens his mouth. Like, what the fuck, bro? Guys, I'm all made. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a real. Girl. So like Dylan, that's that was the casting couch. We already did that. No. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Dylan did his. He already did his uh, his cross dressing bit. Oh yeah, he did. He yeah. did. He did. Yeah, he did. He I did. was hot as shit too. I yeah. I I, I, uh, I stripped on Jay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Awful. <laughs> awful. Awful. <laughs> awful. Never want to see it. Uh, no, nah, I think it was great. If you guys want to go watch that, <laughs> yeah, I love the coffin. Go, go, watch, go, great. go watch that SDR episode. I fucking I came in a little win. <laughs> You did. You really won did. something. Did bro. you win? Who yeah. won? Yeah. You won. T- me and Tanner both came yeah, in with, came the, with the idea to win, and mm-hmm. then uh, who's the third one? It was oh, Maddie, Maddie just skulls. skulls, and he just was just there for the free drinks. You guys do drag often on the on in in this uh, place. Um, not often. That was like two uh, years a, ago. Yeah. Post on Ralph's it's probably what Dylan's yeah. going right after this. It's just been in DC's mind every night since. What? <laughs> Can't get it out of my yeah, head. Yeah, that that shit is Dylan horrifying. Cross, seen no, him like that. Dylan, that was wild. Send me the picture, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That was gross, man. Let, let me see. Let me, let me see. see. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, you know how to Photoshop tits on this? <laughs> he had, well, he had no tits too. Hey. Hey well, man. I mean, it is what it hey is, man. man. I'm a I'm a dainty slut. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not a titty guy, so it's cool. Um, all right, I see uh, dainty little hub. I see Mia Khalifa <laughs> on this uh, David topic. Oh God, so let's let's end on let's end on Mia Khalifa. I actually don't like talking about her. But I don't know why people find Mia Khalifa is now teaching classes at Oxford. Just mm. troll. Everyone's just a troll, bro. By the way, ready, yeah. and what is Oxford doing, dude? If she doesn't sleep with the student, I mean, what the fuck are we what doing? Are the yeah, worst? what's the? That, that's bro. like a lottery. You you Gotta join be. the class and you're like, oh, I hope I'm the one that bro, bro. Top five bags. worst porn stars in the world. You're I, so wrong. Her Honestly, I, were not I've, I've, watched, so I've wrong. watched maybe 30 seconds. Kind of bu- like The sex was kind of clunky. No. It took me 15 seconds to come. That, <laughs> I, so she's good. So she did no, her job. No. I mean, she's, you know, she's a fucking normal chick, you know? I, I think the whole hot thing about her was that she great. was supposed to come from like a very religious, uh, religious secular thing, you know? So it feels like naughty heat. that you're, you're, you know, that you're watching it was the high this. Heat, Huh? That's, it was having sex with that thing on her head. That's yeah. what made her super right, famous. Listen, that's that's how I have sex. I, what cl- I make my David, wife put what, that on. What classes are she nah, is she bro. teaching? Is it woodworking? You never had sex with, with a woman. <laughs> wait, with wait, a wait, 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 wait. Let's look at classes. She's apparently teaching imposter syndrome right now. Mm. So this is just teaching people about. Hold on, I'll find the proper. Like, so I used to think I was inspired. Muslim, and then I found out I'm not. Uh, this is so the weird. imposter syndrome was real, even though no they're talking about all about dream confidence in my life experience. She's like, I don't think I'm I'm really good enough to be a fucking whore. She's, but she's, you are, you are a whore. It's not you're not an imposter. Down. Even her outfit, is, I, I don't even care. Scroll about down. It. This is just stupid, bro. Like I really wish people would stop. Like that, that's not what a teacher wears. This. That's too short. For I mean, she teacher. looks good. She I would hot, I would hang bro. out in that she library. Looks, she looks sexy as shit. I would hang out all over. Is that the... hanging out under her dress? Hopefully, me later. Look how look how geek these guys are, dude. Would you marry a, a porn star, no, Dylan? No. Um, no, because, you know, it's funny, Riley Reed was talking about that, or, oh, actually it was Adriana Chekich, someone of them, one of them was like, my ex-husband made me feel so bad about it, when I would come back from a gangbang, he's like, did you wash your mouth? <laughs> don't and you I was not. like, that's a, that's a wild no, sentence. No, I mean, but don't not. you feel, I mean, like, I would wild feel, sen- yeah, well, what she said is a wild sentence? Or him? No, that's what, that's what, she, oh, which wait. one, which one is the wild sentence? Did you wash your mouth is not a wild question. Oh, no, no, her, no, idiot. That's reasonable. That's a pretty reasonable <laughs> fucking question. When I just came from a gangbang, my husband would be so weird about it. That would be pretty reasonable. What? Yeah, did you wash know, your I, mouth I, out? I don't know, like, I, I couldn't imagine, like, couldn't date a porn star? Ma- did you get all the cum Dating, out of your yeah, but, like, marrying, my father married a porn star. Really? Oh. Yeah, my father married, but. You do, wh- you, you do look like a, you're dressed like a porn director. Well, well this is what my father <laughs> told me. He told me, Joshi, my father was Israeli, the other accent. He said, Joshi, she Awkward. does porn, but she only does lady on lady porn. Yeah, all right. So it's good. After she fucks with Well, I mean, like that I could deal with. Also, if it was yeah. just my wife having sex with women. Also the worst kind of porn. Why? By the way, that, by the what? way. That's why I want to point out how fucking dumb and, and, and stupid we are. Because if she came back from a game band, we'd be like, did you wash your mouth? If she came back from eating, a, from a lesbian game band, I'd be like, did you wash your mouth? Because I want to taste. <laughs> That's funny. Also disgusting. 
<laughs> also very disgusting. But that's the, the 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 difference. I don't know why people need to marry. Por- just do horse shit with whores. You don't need to like marry a porn star. What, what, what porn people. stars don't deserve love? Yeah, I didn't say what? that. Not from me. They do deserve it, but they they from everybody. Deserve. Not from me. Yeah, yeah from they everyone. deserve. They're looking for it clearly. Why but don't like, porn stars just date other porn stars? I feel like they're, they're dating. In, yeah, what do they keep it in the community? Keep it in the industry. Porn yeah, porn dynasty. And by keep it, it, I mean AIDS. No, I'm yeah. joking. It'll have to be like um, not a lot of AIDS with the les- with the lesbian porn. That's true. It'll, it'll Natalie, you be- want to say something on this? A hot topic? A chick would have. No, to I was do- just gonna say she's not a professor. She was invited to give a talk, which is insane. Oh, she's not like a permanent professor. No. It's crazy when they invite rappers to talks, especially that some certain types of rappers. But then you're just like a porn star, bro. Like this is. There's rappers no- and porn stars have equal qualification. That by the way, that's that, what I'm, but, that was the first what I'm saying. That's literally what I'm way, saying. It's Mia, like, why is this like Mia Khalifa's speech is the first speech in history that no one in that room can recite one word from? They were speech. jerking off the whole time. <laughs> you think she gave a speech? That's what she said. She's doing talk. Nothing matters in this world. It doesn't matter. I don't care how hard this you is work. had a bad week at work. I don't care how many degrees you have, bro. A, someone who sucked a cock, a regular, not even like a famous person's cock, just was sucking random dicks, is speaking at Oxford. So follow your dreams, kids. Yeah, because no. this yeah. world is full of shit, right? Yeah, no, that's that's a hundred. You're hundred percent. A right. thousand. Percent. No, I feel just like, as defeated in my. You get what I'm saying? Like you. why? 100%. Why have any type Wait, of integrity? DC, why have any type of anything? 100%. If you knew you were a hundred dick suckings away from where your dreams. Would you get to work? A hundred dick sucks away from my dreams. Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely not. You wouldn't bro. get to work, bro. You think you think people in the industry haven't tried to fuck me before? No. <laughs> if you have to have sex to get ahead, then it's 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 not. Yeah, you, know, you didn't fucking. Do and this it, sex bro. could get me ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> like, he was, he was, yeah, the no. dick, fine. Like, the fingers, nah. <laughs> like, you can get me ahead. Dude. Um, the iPad died on me, but here, boop. There's the Jay Z thing. You can hear it in your heads, guys. Thank you so much for coming New to another. York. It's actually not that one. But, uh, <laughs> Fucking no. But guys, thank you so much for coming to another doped up episode. Uh, this has been a really dirty one. I don't, this is what happens when Kev's on here. But to, insightful. It was in, insightful. It, it, insightful and mm-hmm. a fucking earful. You learned about dog. hysteria. Delightful. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was delightful. We yeah. talked about the Noid. Talked about the Noid. That was fun. Noid Rest, was in fun. Peace, Rest, Rest in peace, Noid. Rest in peace, Noid. RIP, dude. But dude, listen, guys. We'll see you next time on Doped Up Comedy. The... Sunday, Sunday morning voice. smoke show. I miss my co-host. He'll be here next week. <laughs> Ladies, Goodbye. Keep yeah, that makes me feel good. Thank keep you, bro. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>